Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to be looking at this little interesting um, picture book. So this is The Unlikely Ballerina. Um, it's by, I'm going to mispronounce this, Christina Torre Godou. It's illustrations by Kosi Kawa. Again, I'm massively mispronouncing these. So this is a not a fictional story. It's a fictional book about a ballerina whose real name is Lily Marks who that was not her professional name. Uh, she did eventually become a professional ballerina. She was Jewish, she was growing up in London, and she had crooked legs. Um, they didn't work right. So originally they wanted her to wear boots and then they wanted her to wear braces. And her mom's like, is there something else we can do? Um, and the doctor says, you can try something different. You can try putting her in ballet class. And so they did and she went into ballet and she was very very good and her legs strengthened and she took ballet classes she performed for her family and eventually her teacher wanted her to be in a competition and she won and her father um she did wasn't a person of the arabian nights and no one realized that she was ever suffering from a, um Disease. Her mother talked about a Russian dancer by the name of Anna Halava. Please ignore the cat. Um, I'm also pronouncing this as well. And she was a beautiful dancer. And her father took her to see this Russian dancer dance. And she wanted to see her. So he goes and talks to her manager. And he, like, she doesn't see anybody. She doesn't see anybody. He's like, this is my daughter. She desperately wants to be like her. He's like, okay, have her come and dance for her the next day and so they're going to they see her come out and get into her carriage although let's say it's a limousine um this looks oh yes it's a it's an old-fashioned limousine um it's a very very uh old story so and you see her coming out so i'm guessing this might be the 1920s so they go to her where she's staying and she's invited in and she danced for her, dances for her. She's like, you have, you will one day become a great dancer, but you're going to have to give up many of the pleasures and you'll have to work very hard. So you have to give up a lot. And that's what she does. She never forgot. Um, she went on to become Alicia Markova. Now Alicia was her middle name. So Markova, again, was a Russian sounding part of her actual last name which was Marx her real name was Lily Marx um, and this is the actual dancer uh, when she was about 13 and then when she was dancing and she had to give up a lot she never married she was living on her own she very much represented um, Jewish culture so she was a um, and uh, championed it quite a bit I don't think when on earth did this take place um, um, she was born in 1910 so she was a prima ballerina in the 1940s for what would eventually become um, ABT, which is the American Ballet Theater, which is very, very famous in New York. Um, and then she uh, served as a director of the Metropolitan Opera House in New York and taught around the world. So, but she never got married. Um, she never really had a home for a long time. Um, but she championed, as opposed to her, um, I would say mentor, she championed, who never really admitted she was Jewish. Again, time, this girl was born in 1910. So she was, when she was seeing the, it was, it was getting close to the World War II. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, no, not 1910, World War I. Um, so again, still there's a lot of uh, anti-Semitism not that there isn't now, but still. Um, her mentor never admitted she was Jewish. She did. Um, she danced in Tel Aviv. She very much promoted her Jewish heritage in ballet. So this is a very beautiful, um, beautiful story. Uh, very much represents, if you were a ballet nut, I am a ballet nut. Um, but it's a very, it's very interesting illustrations. So um, I would say it's beautiful, but it's very artistically done. Um, 
So it's a fantastic book. Um, I enjoy it. The author is, um, let's see, she writes children's books mostly. So uh, apparently books include A Girl Called Vincent, a biography of poet Edina St. Vincent Millay, and the doll makers and their stories, the women who changed the world of play, which would be interesting. And then the uh, illustrator is male and Japanese, which is kind of, um, who lives in Australia, it looks like, which you can kind of tell by the illustrations. Um, but this is a fantastic book. I'm a ballet nut. Um, if you're talking about the history of ballet, if you're talking about Jewish history, she's a very prominent um, member and um, of the Jewish community. And again, if you have a child who has disabilities, again, she overcome a great disability. She had crooked legs and they were gonna put braces on them. Instead, she did dancing to get her legs strengthened. I have a meowing cat. Um, so that's the end of this, this review. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to like, to like and subscribe. I cover children's books like this. I cover older books, I cover film. I cover a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm covering a bunch of book series this year. Uh, so be sure to check all those out, like and subscribe. Leave a positive comment if you have one and look forward to more. Thank you.